Hey. So earlier I kind of came upon a, an interesting thought. What on earth am I going to leave behind? And what, why am I alive? And I came, I came across some really interesting questions and uh, really interesting answers. Because I realized that people have power. Everyone has power. Especially, just look at the media as a, as a profound example. It's a prime example that um, I like to use because I'm going into, uh, I'm going into mass comm. So I look at the media and I think about what kind of power it has. And literally what the media is is just a one-sided conversation. And it's reaching out to millions of people, millions, and just talking to them. And when you talk to them, it is a one-sided conversation. You get to talk, they get to listen. And what you say instills a certain thought upon these people. A thought that they wouldn't have had on their own. And you get to influence them. Now one person, one person by himself is so utterly complex, is so utterly sophisticated, that one human being has more neurons in their brain than there are stars in the observable universe so far. So one human one human person is monumental is huge is complex and insane 10 people is a group of intellectuals that could change the world if they all got together in a building if they all decided if they have money if they had power if they had influence they could change the world a hundred people that's a small army that could start a revolution 200 300 400 a thousand these numbers are insane. You could do basically anything with this, with this number of people. Now, a million. A million people, all hearing the same message, all feeling the same things, all being instilled the same concepts. Now I go back to leaving a mark on the world. Now I go back on making a difference. Essentially, what mass media does is it allows you to make that difference and it, it engraves it in a sense of a stone really it carves it into the stones of time and then it just lasts it becomes immortal your message people will hear it and hear it and hear it again at different times now now it's not all at once it's everywhere at any time past present or future as to one uh, in a relative to the recording it's all possible now now what you say what you do how you impact people the eyes you choose to open the eyes you choose to close the hearts you open the hearts you break it all depends on what you say on what you do and that's why you are so important a human being is so utterly important it's insane because that person has the potential to influence and change millions of lives one human being and really a human person no matter how many lives they change remarkably is not that special and that's the beauty of it that's what makes it all the more amazing is the fact that this potential this influence is completely normal the fact that every one of us has that same potential the fact that that isn't out of the ordinary the fact that that is normal that's possible for everyone that speaks great hope that speaks great hope for everyone because that shows that we all have the same capacity to do the same things if we are given the proper materials and resources to reach out to that many people. But even if we can't reach millions, we can reach dozens. And like I said, the complexity of one human person is absolutely, that is just by itself, enormous. That's insane. And you get to reach dozens. Now, how will you impact them? Will you open their hearts? Will you break them? Will you gain their trust? Or will you make it so that they'll never trust again? And the, the interesting thing in life is that you can choose to show kindness or, or anger. You can choose to show love or wrath. And 
and it impacts the world. It impacts the way people see you, the way you see people, how you behave. It all alters a bigger future. There's something I've discovered in college. In college life, I've figured out that I need to have work ethic. You know, I can't sit down and do nothing. I can't sit down and let this pile up over my head because this won't let me. I have to always be one or two steps ahead of the game so I can keep going on time. So I don't have to worry about it. And people say to me, Eli, how do you, how do you do this? How are you so far ahead of the game? What do you do? And I say, I, I'm, I'm dedicated, but I'm also scared. I'm scared of falling behind. Now, my motivator is fear. And that's not a good thing. Your motivator should be passion. Your motivator should be dedication to your task, not fear. You shouldn't be afraid to fall behind. You should know that you shouldn't fall behind and you should have that everlasting drive to push you forward. Not to be afraid of falling behind. Does that make sense? You got to move forward because you're dedicated to your task, not because you're scared you'll stumble back. You know what I mean? And, and bringing change. How are you going to impact people? How are you going to change their lives if you don't have work ethic? How are you going to open their hearts if you're not going to do anything? You can have as many altruistic, as many kind and, and loving thoughts as you can. But if you don't do anything, if you don't have work ethic, those kind thoughts, those great things become meaningless. They lose their potential because you aren't doing anything with them. Open your minds and do something with those thoughts. Do something with them. They gain meaning when they enter the real world. When thoughts become reality. When kind thoughts become kind actions. You know what I mean? That's when they become important. That's when they gain relevance. And that's when you change lives. That's when you open people's minds. That's when you gain people's trust. And that's when you, you help people realize this is a friendly place. When someone else is scared of failure, you can bring them closer to success through motivation. If someone is scared of stumbling back, you can push them forward and say, don't, don't quit now. Don't quit. If somebody's scared out of their lives that they're going to be hurt by somebody in the middle of the night, you can bring them home. You can bring them home. You can walk with them and you can use your power, your authority as a human presence to make sure that they are safe. It's not about kind thoughts alone. What you do seriously makes an impact on so many people. You're changing lives every second you breathe. Every second you exist, you are changing lives. This world would not be the same without you, in a sense. Literally, I look at it as a, as a script in a code. If you weren't there to interact with this person, this person's day would have been entirely different they would have followed a completely different system but because you were there it interacted with you and had to adapt it had to change now whether it changes for the better or the worst i mean that's that's up to you you should change people for the better you should do that some people don't and they end up getting what's coming to them people who do wrong have very complicated lives they have long, 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 long stories about how their weekend went. But kind people don't have much to say. The simpler your life is, the kinder you're probably living your life. The simpler your life is, the less drama there is, the, the less wrongdoing there is. Simple is easy. Simple is good. Well... Not always, there are certain exceptions, but for the most part, simple is good. Because, at least that's, that's in my opinion. Because that proves that nothing bad happened. You're fine, you're fine, you're alive. That's great. So live a kind, simple life impacting as many people as you can. And don't do wrong, because then wrong will come back and do you in. You get me?
And also you gotta have that dedication. You gotta be motivated to to actually do something with those pure thoughts. Those pure kind-hearted thoughts aren't gonna do anything if you just let them sit there in your head. Do something with the kindness that dwells within you. Don't let it sit there. Don't let those kind thoughts sit in your head collecting dust. Reach out, bring them out. And sometimes it's just a matter of being lazy. Don't be lazy. Get out there. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you got this. Yeah, I know it's hard sometimes. It's hard for everybody sometimes. Sometimes it's just one of those days. It's a Sunday. You don't want to get out of bed. You don't want to do anything. It hurts to move your back, your hip. (laughs) It hurts. Ugh. I get it. I feel it. But try. Try. Because at least... If you at least try, if you take the action of trying, you will feel better than not having tried at all. Because when you try, when you put in that effort to do something good, you're just helping yourself. You won't regret having tried. My biggest regrets are when I did nothing, when I should have done something. So take action, all right? Like I said, like work ethic, how are you gonna how are you gonna impact people's lives if you don't have that work ethic? How are you gonna change people's lives if you don't do anything? You know? Try. Just try. Take it from me, I believe in you. I believe in you. You can do it. I well. That's about it. Those are just some thoughts I wanted to reflect on, so uh Yeah. Anyways, I'll see you later. All right. Okay. I got a launch to do. (laughs) Got to take action. (laughs) Hee hee. All right. Bye.